Hello, hello. Stream is starting. Forgot to change the name of the stream earlier. Well, I'm not revealing a third character. <laughs> Who about it says here today? Hey, Ron. Just going to open a uh, warm up contract. But we are going to be doing some grand heist today. Actually, hold on. Idea. Okay. I just increased the volume of the music only for y'all, but not for me. So we'll have to see what the sound balance is like there. Once it starts playing again. Okay, just playing quietly right now. I'll give it a second to gear up. The music, I mean. Okay, so sound check. How is my voice versus the uh, music versus the game sound? Just want to get a concept of what the balance is like right now. You should be able to hear all three, but my voice should be the, mo the clearest. Awesome, thank you, Ron. Oh, I should summon my Harbinger. I don't know if anyone... Does anyone remember what level I was when I last streamed? I cannot remember for the life of me. I think I was 86. I've uh, reached 91 now. I've just been doing heist after heist after heist after heist, basically. Ooh, I got double on all the divination cards. Awesome. I'm going the wrong way. Ah! Okay, well, I got uh, five or six more levels since then. So, my passageway is a bit more complete. I'll show it off in a second once I'm done the uh, warm up heist. Yeah. Open sesame. Nope. I'm still going the wrong way. It's up here. Had to be very careful. This is a tier 16 heist. Area level 83, so I have to make sure that I'm not getting myself murdered or anything of the like. For those who know the game well and are especially observant, you might start to notice something soon is different about my character. It's currently visible in my buff bar. But if you're not familiar with the game... Well, now it's very visible!
<laughs> oh, I love Ball Heist. Ball Heist? Ball Smite, not Ball Heist. <laughs> Ew. Lots of friends, and they're not friendly. Eh. Ew. Bad map. So, the uh, new thing of which I was talking about was open my passive tree. I've moved things around a little bit. The thing I'm talking about here is Inspired Learning. For those who've been playing the game a while, you're very familiar with Inspired Learning, I'm sure. Uh, basically, the way that Inspired Learning works is if you meet its parameters, uh, when you kill a rare monster, so a yellow one, uh, you gain one of its number of modifiers. Usually they have somewhere between one to four modifiers. And you gain one of it, one of those modifiers for 20 seconds. Uh, earlier, you saw a giant ring appear around me. That's the uh, mana drain modifier, where anything that walks into, uh, that touches that ring, gets its health and mana drained. Uh, I can steal any modifier from any rare monster. For those who are very familiar with the game, you'd know that this is usually a rather expensive thing, but for some reason they're really cheap this league. Uh, I just picked one up because it actually it adds a lot of power to a build, having uh, the modifiers of rare monsters, because the power of the rare monster modifiers to deal with how powerful players are tend to be quite scaled up. It's why Headhunters is the second most powerful belt in the game, the second most expensive belt, because you gain when you kill a rare monster you gain all its modifiers if you wear a headhunters versus this you only gain one of its modifiers hence why it's a hundred and twenty something divine right now uh this thing was only 50c though i was pretty happy with that and i even got a corrupt implicit that uh gives me a little bit extra damage which is nice so picked that up uh gave myself some extra chaos resistance uh, I grabbed a, 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 a large intelligence passive, and I put a, a honored tattoo of the storm on it, which gave me an extra power charge, which will help scale with my build. Uh, I wanted to do an extra, friend, extra frenzy charge, but I need a dex notable for that, which is either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away over there, or one, two, three, four, five, six points away over here so i don't really want to i don't really have six extra points to spare to add another frenzy charge unfortunately but the power charge on its own is pretty good anything else oh i grabbed the i finally got the uh cluster jewel that uh i was intending to get last uh last stream i got blood scent and devastator on it which were the ones i wanted Blood Scent uh, gives me the ability to gain Rage uh, on a hit once every second, which gives me attack damage, attack speed, and movement speed. Oh, it's on screen. Uh, but if I use the Berserk ability, it also gives me an even bigger version of all of those buffs, plus it gives me damage reduction. So that's if I'm like fighting something really strong, I can turn on Berserk now. And I have Devastator. The most important part of this is a 15% chance when I kill something or to explode and deal a tenth of its life as physical damage to everything near it. Well, except me. Which is really good for helping clear even more packs. Honestly, might not be required for this character, but I like explosions. So, I mean, why not? <laughs> uh, I swapped out my passive here uh, from uh, enemies near your marked target are blinded to marked enemies cannot critical strike you. Which basically means I can't be critical struck by any rares or uniques for the most part. Which is honestly really powerful. And I swapped out this one from 15% chance to block attack damage to 15% chance to block spell damage. Because spell damage is my weakness. I am going to really quickly... 
grab my path of building. So this is the path of building here that I have for the character. I do intend eventually to um I do intend eventually to get an unnatural instinct. Someone from our community, Pyroclasm, uh, gave me a suggestion of, of adding Unnatural Instinct to this build, and it actually ends up being fairly useful up here, because apparently you can add tattoos to uh, to small attributes, and if I don't, and like they can be picked up by the Unnatural Instinct still if they're unallocated. Uh, basically, what this does is any small passives in the area that aren't allocated, you get the bonuses of, and things that you that are allocated, you don't get the bonuses of. So the opposite of normal. And I just moved some of the stuff that was up here mainly down over to here in the path of building. Uh, so this is now a level 100 path of building. So I, obviously I don't have all these points yet, but uh, this is generally what the character is going to look like in the end. And down here looks mostly the same, just with some late game adding more frenzy charge damage and removing the uh, chance for enemies to steal my charges. That is mostly it, I believe. Uh, I think that's just about it. Oh, I also, uh, and in my later levels, I'm going to be grabbing Mark the Prey, which uh, reduces accuracy from uh, whatever it is, so that makes it even harder for them to hit me. So my 95% evasion rating is essentially uh, more than that. And if there's like an accurate monster... So they have the modifier that makes them especially good at hitting you. Uh, this will cancel that out. And it'll also give you a chunk more damage. Plus I have the uh, your mark transfers to another enemy when your marked enemy dies. So it'll like be, it'll be contagious transferring the mark throughout things. And the, when, when the mark is on something, I do extra damage to gain extra life and mana and so on. Uh, that's not that important. So that's why the, this has not been allocated on... Uh, my main, my uh, main passive tree here yet, but it is in the cards to eventually be done. Uh, I do have my inspired learning up here still. I'm gonna move things all around, but uh, I haven't really gotten that far yet, and I'm trying to get another couple levels first before I do that. But putting that aside. I will, actually, before I forget, in case anyone wants to follow along, I am going to put the paste bin in chat that it can be put into a path of building and uh, in under the, uh, under the import a build section, and you can import the build in its fullest and see exactly how it is all set up if you want to replicate it yourself. I do want to do a build guide on it eventually, but if you wanted to do it ahead of time, there you go. And for those who are watching the VOD, you will be able to see it on screen as well in chat. Although it's going to be, you're going to have to write it out. I will try to put it into uh, uh, the description if I can remember for the VOD. So for today, we have these eight grand heists set up. Uh, I don't have every wing open on every one of these contracts. Some of them are good contracts, some of them are meh contracts, but I'm just going to get what I can out of them, and hopefully it'll be worth it. I'm going to start with the first one here. There's one of two wings revealed, and it has one of the uh, divination card ones. Oh, right, I didn't... <laughs> well... So, funny thing... You have to actually land the heist first, and I forgot to do that. Oops. Just generally throw whoever in here. Doesn't really matter 
Okay, this is an important one. This is three divination card room. Theory to double. Niles to open an extra chest. Tibbs to open an extra chest. Yeah. Good work. And oh, this one's also really good. Uh, I'm going to be picking Karst here, despite the fact he's slower, because he can reduce the alert level so I can pick more chests up. Tibbs to open more chests, and Niles to open more chests. Niles, Vendiri for doubling, Tibbs again. Niles, Vendiri, Tibbs. You might be seeing a pattern. Niles, Gianna, because I can't use. Or, Vendiri, Gianna, because I can't use Niles, and. Wait, Vendiri again? What? Wait, level 5. Demolition and level 5 Trap Disarmament? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay, well, it's gonna be, I'm not going to have many... I'm going to open like two of these rooms and that's it. And I'm not going to be able to open any more. I just will run out of uh, alert level, basically. This one has six Divination card rooms cut across two wings, which is awesome. Okay. Derry. Niles. Uh, no. Tibbs, Niles, Vendiri. Huck, Yana, Niles. That is a terrible lineup. Uh, it. Okay, I'm going to pick Isla, actually. So, Isla gives you an increased time before lockdown, so I'm probably going to have to open one or... Like, th these chests, I'm probably going to open and set off the lockdown timer and then rush to open the uh the curio case because i'm not going to have enough uh alert level to deal with it this one's fully revealed because holy divination cards one two three four five six seven divination card rooms and three currency rooms okay first vendiri tips niles Isla Tibbs. Isla Tibbs. Niles. Niles Tibbs. Gary. Okay. I'm not actually throwing. For anyone who might think so, I'm not throwing these in randomly. I'm actually, I actually know what I'm picking intentionally here. I can just do it really fast because I've done this a lot. Okay, let's put these back in here for now because we only need to have one on us, and I want to make sure I have as much inventory space as possible. Okay. Okay, easiest heist first. I'm hoping the uh, inspired learning is going to help keep me alive a bit if I can get something that's ridiculous. I got something from that guy. Oh, I poison. <laughs> That's not useful, but... Ow. Man. That's level 4. I want to get more level 5 brooches. Ow. That's so. I did I just get Soul Eater? I don't think so. That would be crazy if I just got Soul Eater. I can't fucking tell. It doesn't tell you what. It just shows that you've got a mod. It doesn't show you what the mod is. Yeah. 
make sure that things actually die, because I don't really want anything, any more things hitting me than I have to have, because I'm not incredibly tanky. If something hits me, I'm in trouble. Things are very, very unlikely to hit me, but if something hits me, I'm in trouble. Uh, 8 GCP, GCP, 6 stack decks. Uh, oh. uh, I think the stack decks. Give me some modifiers. Now when I now when I see you, ooh ooh, give me that. Oh, I was hoping for proximity shield. Proximity shield means that you have to be close to me to deal damage to me at all. So they just you just literally cannot deal damage to a proximity shield monster unless you are close to it. Which means that nothing would be able to do damage to me unless it was close to me. Ooh, I just got energy shield aura. Nice. Holy shit, 2500 energy shield. <laughs> I have none usually. Okay, well, I'm just become very tanky. That's why I like inspired learning, is it can just randomly make you, like, way tankier or hit way harder. It's actually, like, a really safe way of getting easy DPS. I that only one thing. One eighty-one. You have to be careful because I don't want to die in any of these, and I'm not a hundred percent durable yet. I'm I'm getting pretty close now. Like I'm getting I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I'm at uh, eighty-eight percent chance to dodge while I have cat stealth. Um. Yes. Okay. Because it swaps between 88% chance and, uh, wait. Oh, no, it's the Frenzy Charge is doing it. Okay, so as long as I have Frenzy Charge, I have 88%. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, so there's three currency rooms here I need to work on, and I have some alert level reduction, so I should be good. Uh, I think I just got a haste aura from that rare mob. I don't know who said that, but I'm sure you're stupid. Nope. I'll try not to fat finger open the events tab anymore. I need to rebind that. I always forget. And then I do it, and then I'm like, fuck, I should rebind that, and then I forget. Never ending cycle. Oh, I'd love to get the periodically enrages buff. Basically, at random, you just get giant and do a lot of extra damage. Ah! Make monster. Thank you. Wait, where am I going? Oh, it's this way. Come and open the door, will you? Okay, Gilded Fossil. That's worth about 5C. Divcon. 
Six chaos. Building thing. Seven chaos. I'm just gonna pay for chaos because. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got the we got the uh, the we got the uh, fifteen fifteen percent chance. Yeah, we got the fifteen percent chance because both of these, all three of these people have five percent chance to not end the heist or not to trigger the alarm when you grab something. Cool, I got an extra six chaos because of that. That's really awesome. All of that time that I spent doing that was really worth it. And it only took me like 40 minutes to roll all of them. That is only the second time I've ever seen that happen. The first time was also on stream. Hey, Pyro. Whoa, my AoE is really big suddenly. Don't know what's doing that, but I like it. <laughs> ah! No! Oh, I just got... I must have got an AoE mod from one of the rares. That's really cool. No, stop! Alright. Jana? Or Karst? Or whoever the fuck is opening that? Ooh, okay. I'm out. Welcome back, Pyro. How was your kitty today? Okay. Two div room. Yay, I'm glad he's on the mint. Always nerve wracking when there's even like the slightest medical issue with a pet. Or I guess with a kid. Really, it's kind of the same thing. Like, are they going to be okay? Are they going to die? No, they're not going to die. It's <laughs> it's just a bit freaky. One of my puppers, uh, Annabelle, she's had... Uh, she's been having a little bit of trouble walking lately. And uh, brought her to the vets, and apparently she's in good health. She just has a bit of uh, arthritis in her legs, and I got some anti-inflammatories and stuff. And I now I know she's gonna be just fine. Got a good exercise regimen, so it's definitely a relief to know that you can. Ha there's like a way to handle the problems. Ooh, an outer ear infection, that sucks. Ooh, a Gilded Divination Scarab. Wait, what? I think that popped out of a barrel or something. Eee. Okay, chances. Oh, and and exalt. So that's twenty chaos. That's probably going to be my pick. Want alts as alks, chromes as jewels. Always check the trinkets because you're look like you want to check and make sure that there aren't any uh, divination or any uh, divination. Uh, there aren't any divine orb trinkets 
because you can get chaos orbs as divine orbs and i believe also as like orbs of alchemy as uh, divine orbs too uh and those are worth a lot of money Also, the uh, chance to duplicate basic currency is really valuable. Most people don't, or uh, I, it is my understanding that most people don't actually know what what basic currency is. Uh, or at least I certainly didn't for the longest time. Uh, but basic currency is stuff from the base game specifically. It doesn't mean cheap currency. So mirrors of Calandra, for example, are base cur are basic currency. Divine orbs are basic currency. Exalt are basic currency. Just in case anyone was unclear on that. Okay, divine divination scarab, twenty-two chaos, nice. Well, it's a half a div worth of uh, divination or stack decks. Okay. The third one. Uh okay, so there's one two divination card room. Uh quality currency yes and no is the answer to your question. Uh Basic currency includes things like gem cutters, prism, so GCP, uh, blacksmith's whetstones, armor scraps, and all those are quality currency because they add quality to something. But there are also other quality currencies like tainted whetstones or tainted armor scraps and stuff that count, again, as quality currencies, but they don't count as basic currency because they are from... The Beyond League. So the answer to your question is partially. I will say, though, I can't really think of any quality currency that's, like, specifically really valuable. So I would consider quality currency in specific to be less valuable than... Uh, less valuable than basic currency. I'm sure there's also other quality currency that I'm not thinking of. Actually, actually, you know what might count as quality currency? The, uh, what's it called? The second, the primary and, s the prime and secondary regrading lenses that change the quality of, uh, what the quality of a gem is, whether it's an alt quality or main quality. So those might count. I don't know for sure, though. Okay, six vol orbs. Ox says elk. Chrome says jewelers. Ox elk. Three percent chance for basic currency drops to be duplicated. This that is valuable. I don't know how. I don't know what role it requires for it to be like super valuable, but I know that on its own tends to be worth something. And uh, nothing here gives me a lot of like guaranteed value, so I'm gonna pick this. If you want uh, a concept of what a god tier trinket would be, that would be like uh, chaos as uh, chaos orbs can drop as divine orbs, and basic currency has a chance to be duplicated. Those two together would be crazy. Hey, 
hey, I have a I have a guy with a boat stick now. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention I grabbed a loyalty tattoo finally for this character. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, loyalty tattoos are like super powerful tattoos of which you can only have one in any given build. And I generally would suggest that every single person, oh, pretty much irregardless of their build, has a loyalty tattoo. Uh, I can I can point them out a bit more later after I'm out of this to like explain. But they're like super, super valuable for what you have to put into them. This is not the room I meant to go into. I was trying to go this way. Okay, so loyalty tattoos. You can just replace a small attribute point. So uh, 10 dex, 10 strength, 10 int, whatever. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, and it triggers summoning a particular spirit on something happening, just something happening. Uh, in my case, if I critically strike a marked unique enemy, it triggers this. Uh, I already forget what my spirit does. Ah, <laughs> uh, I believe it spawns, it attacks things, and I think it increases my attack speed. Um... But you can get them on, like, if your totem dies, or if you lose your guard skill, or any of those things, and they usually have some pretty powerful abilities attached to them. I'm gonna bring mine up really quickly. Okay. So, it gives me a buff to my action speed. Of 10%. Of it, it brings my action speed up to a base of 110%. So that's basically the exact same as having Tailwind. And for every uh, Tessalio uh, tribe tattoo that I have, it gives me another plus 2% minimum action speed. And you can have like 50 tattoos in your thing, so you can have like a ridiculous action speed bonus to it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, at the list right here. Yeah, like for example, suppress spell damage from a unique enemy. When you reach maximum age, what well, age? When you meet, when you meet. Oh my god! When you reach maximum rage while unique enemy is in your presence. When you use a travel skill while unique enemy is in your presence. When you t take a critical strike. When your totem dies. When you block damage. All, all with it when you're with a unique enemy when you reach low life all of them do like their their own different thing that is usually pretty powerful so i highly would suggest for whatever your build is you look into to see if there's a loyalty tattoo that would benefit you because you can only have one of them and they're not all that expensive i find like i think this one was 4c or something like it, it was really cheap and they're pretty damn good for what they are. And especially considering, like, 10 decks is not as worthwhile to me as this is. Wait, I forgot to do my inventory, aren't it? I was busy doing the talky thing. That in here. Let's see. Chance for basic for high. Yeah, three percent chance in heist for basic currency to be duplicated. Okay, starts five, ten, forty, forty, fifty, fifty-five chaos. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's a perfect one. That's a tier one. Oh, okay. There aren't a huge number of them on the market. 
This does have Augs as Elks, which is pretty decent. I don't know if that's really worth anything. It's worth maybe 5 or 10. Together, they don't exist. This is probably worth like 19 i I'm going to guess. Take a wild guess on that. Okay, so I have two div rooms, and two unique rooms, and an essence room. For other words, two div rooms. <laughs> I usually don't even open the div room. Like, or not div rooms, I usually don't even open the uh, unique rooms. Eh, not really worth it. Most of the uniques I get are hidden. They're so bad. So it doesn't feel worthwhile. I'm, I mean, it's totally possible that you could encounter like a really valuable unique, but it's not likely. It doesn't have the same like guaranteed value that getting stacked decks from every single divination test does, or getting chaos orbs from every single... Uh, Currency chest does. We're getting catalysts from uh, metamorph chests, getting oils from blight chests, so on. Oh, nope, that's the essence room. They're almost never valuable. Alks, Alks. Want. Tier 2 max roll want. Hogs is Elks, Chromes is Fusings, Jewelers is Fusings. I guess I'll pick... These aren't really all that good. Like, none of this is. Like, it's 10 Elks to a Chaos right now, so those aren't even a full Chaos. I'm going to just say that the Quant's probably worth something and pick that. This is the one of the reasons why like I don't uh, hate to unveil wings generally when I'm dealing with uh, the uh, thieves trinkets and currency grand heist. Just generally, I don't bother with it because it's usually not going to pay you back based on the uh, heist target. So I don't really bother. Oh, False Might will never, ever stop being amazing and fun. It will always be fun to me. Don't hit me there. Crazy part of me wonders if if uh, Petrified Blood would be fit on this character. Just help me not take so much damage at once suddenly. That's generally what kills me, is I take a ton of damage at once. Okay. 7% quant, about 10 chaos on average. 1% chance for items to drop fully linked. About 5 chaos on average. And chance to receive additional delve item. About 10 chaos on average. Okay, so none of these are like super valuable. Yeah, I'm going to put that as 10 chaos. It might sell. It might not. I don't really care. Okay, level 82.
I always go clockwise, which means I always pick this one, which feels weird, but makes the most sense. Okay. I'm like, should I change my system? I mean, it doesn't matter in any way, so I don't know why I care so much, but... It helps me remember what I have and haven't done by always doing it in the clockwise order. Oh, this one got doubled. Oh, gotta love duplication. Also, another fun fact. If you have two separate doors beside each other, or two separate, like, heist interactions, or one is for one character and one is for another character, you can just activate them both at the same time. The two separate characters will work separately. It's also one of, like, the benefits of not picking the same character to do multiple jobs. Okay, so the door's here. Still got a little bit of stuff to grab. I'm going to show you one other kind of cool thing. So, this is the way out here. I'm back here. Now, you probably are fairly aware of that, but what you might not realize is that you can just leave mid-heist, stow all of your stuff, back in. Ooh. You have to start again at the start. You can't come back in through, like, the secret exit, but if you don't mind running it and you get something, like, super valuable... You can just stop what you're doing and come back. And you, like, the, the exit does not go away just because you've used it. Also, once the bar is filled for whatever they're doing, it completes the action. So this door opened despite the fact I walked away from it. So, which is especially good with uh, Deception here, because I can just hit that and leave. I don't have to wait on that. Oh, except if I hit another door that has the exact same thing, and then I interrupt it. That actually is a problem. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it did open the door anyways. Okay. Weird. I can't believe I opened all those chests. Dance orbs. Crap. Hours as regrets. Eh. Want. GCP. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay. I'll take the GCP. That's like six chaos worth. Oh. Be nice. Get close to me. Whoa, I got some crazy attack speed from something. I got something rage related. That was interesting. Ooh, ooh, gimme give gimme give the, the molten shell. Aw, I didn't get the molten shell from Warm Warm. I 
I gotta be really careful stopping to do things. It's a dangerous choice to make. Ooh! I got a uh, Pride Aura and a Precision Aura. A Super Precision Aura. Oh. Oh, I walked right past the secret exit, but whatever. Oh, I stole I stole a haste aura? Okay, that's why I was moving so quickly. <laughs> I do believe that stacks with both my auras and with the auras from my heist people. Okay. I don't want to go that far. Uh, so I have fossil, catalyst, div, div, div. Okay. Uh, I probably am only going to get the div ones, unfortunately. I would like the others, but I don't think I have that ability. Oh god, I, I don't have any reduction on alert level. That's not good. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, I can tell just by the small chest that the alert level is going to be really high. The alert level cost for opening things. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to rely on Niles and Tibbs to be able to open things after. I got that one. That. I hope I can open one more. Ide ideally, I want to be able to open one more. More chest. Because um, for some reason, I don't have my Niles fully, ev fully, fully evolved. I don't have a fully evolved Niles. Uh, I don't have a fully leveled up Niles yet, so he can only unlock one chest. Oh, does that... Uh, I think that's that's maximum alert level right there. No, okay, I'm just going to have to go. Transmutes is chaos. Not bad. And chance to duplicate basic currency. That's is max level of that, but oh, the high side of drop corrupt is worthless. These are not very good options, which means I'm going to ignore them because there's another thing I can do instead. That. And now, I'm just going to trigger the alarm without picking the uh, heist reward, because the heist reward is worth, worse than the chests. Oh, I already got this one. Darn it. Can I get to another chest and open it in time? Uh, maybe? Fuck. That might have just cost me it. Yeah, that cost me it. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. Okay, the alarm's been triggered now, and I'm going to use Niles and Tibbs to open the last few things. Am I not close enough? Turbulent, noxious. Okay, turbulent, intrinsic, noxious. Ooh, it's getting nasty out there. Bring out my friendly neighborhood 
ancestral war chief totem. Oh, also, do you see the fireballs that are going off me? And just, like, running around and attacking things? I love that. Oh, fuck. Running ground's bad. I love it when those really, really annoying boss modifiers are are stolen. Because they're really fun to play with as the monster with the, the modifier versus playing against the modifier. Ah, oh, there's not very many things wait oh, I shouldn't have said that. Damn it. <laughs> Yay. Ooh. Coo coo. Uh random div cards and as is tradition, we will open div cards at the end of the stream. I have 300 stack decks! Oh, I haven't been selling those. I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's not really worth anything. It's worth like 5c, maybe. I don't, I don't bother selling things that, that are that low. I need to be able to guarantee at least 5C for me to sell something. Otherwise, I just... It just don't... It's not worth my time, unfortunately. In late, early in the league, maybe. But not right now. Early in the league, definitely. Okay. A lot of things happening suddenly. I got my spirit. Big boat paddle man. And he's dead. <laughs> I love the boat paddle sword. I want to make a Ancestral War Chief build with the boat paddle sword. Because it's actually, like, really powerful. But it looks amazing as well, so... And the Ancestral War Chiefs hold whatever weapons you're holding, so... You just... They just have, like, this crazy massive weapon. And I hope I stole the Spell Resistance modifier. That would be really nice. Uh, I'll open this. Not what I'm going to actually grab, though. We'll probably get it on the way out. Because this is going to be mainly me opening things after the alarm goes off. Unless I forego the reward at the end, which I might, depending on the value of it. Because that is always an option. Can forgo the reward at the end in exchange for getting more things before the alarm goes off. And that is sometimes a good choice. No, I can't open another one. Or alarm goes off. Fusings, fusings, chroma's fuse. Fusings, chaos, fusings. Might be some fusings here for me. Necropolis map, nice. 
Do I want five chaos or do I want? Let's see, I can open. There's eight chests here, and I can open three of them after the alarm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna forgo the reward. Open both the divination chests and the uh, harbinger chest before the alarm goes off, and then grab the two delirium and one of the uh, uh, light chests after the alarm goes off. Might as well grab that, too. Ooh, give me the big thing. Aw. Damn it. Oops. Oh, I got a giant fizz aura, though. That's pretty nice. But that's accurate. I don't like accurate monsters. They're the scissors to my paper. Oh, wow. Uh, what? Oh, that the yeah, that was an inner treasure uh, group of uh, blue mobs. That's why. They all added... They all had duplicate... Uh... Or no, that's not inner treasure. That's the... Um, that's the Calandra one that gives you, like, a bunch of duplicates, I think. Hard to remember. A lot of modifiers in this game. Okay, so this is the Delirium one. Miles. Thing. Miles. You need me to babysit you? Nothing? Wow. That's shit. Hmm, that's a lot of things. <laughs> False might. <laughs> oh. oh god, that was bad lag. Scary lag. I wish I had the ability to give out charges to uh, nearby creatures. I would have so many charges to giving out. Ow. Glad that didn't hit me. You know what? I'm not going to wait for whatever that was. Leaving. Uh... Oh, fuck. Light scarab's not really worth much. I do look forward to opening uh opening up a bunch of diff cards at the end of the stream. Especially with the Emperor's luck and where's the other one? Void. Because the last void gave me this, so maybe I've used up all my luck for the league. <laughs> but I'm going to say that maybe I did. Wait, no, I'm already not done yet. Maybe I didn't use all my luck yet. Also, we're about to hit 92. Wait, no, clockwise. Uh Oh, no, that one is not open. Okay. In that case, clockwise goes this way. <laughs> Okay, so... Don't have many... I don't have any alert reduction, fortunately. I can't afford to open any of that. Can hide over here, turn off the turrets. 
Div cards, let's go. I don't mean to say let's go. I just started doing it at some point, and I don't know why. It's infecting me. Yeah, I definitely cannot. I, I can't open the last chest. Also, Jack, just in case, but. And I definitely should open the door if nothing else. Yep, can't. Photographers, incubator, stack decks, things, people. Follower. Okay. I'm going to open the chests here, and then I'm going to rush over. Oh, I have lots of fucking time! <laughs> Stack decks! Nope, stay away from me. Ooh, these got doubled. That's nice. I've gotten lazy and I don't pick up the six sockets anymore. I don't like clearing my inventory. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I'm gonna rage for this. Yes! Oh my gosh, I got it! Proximity shield! Well, okay, this is not real proximity shield. This is the... What is this? This is the uh, projectile shield or something? Whee! Yeah, bring it, bitch! Ooh, foliate bracelet. Or brooch. Oh, this is the slow field? Oh. Oh, well. So cool. I get to have a big bubble. Bubble woman! Yeah, level 92. I have a destination for these. Uh... Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So. Your respect point. This is just a prep for adding the, uh, fusion. Wait, I need to, hold on. Get this in the wrong order. Well, unselect that, pick that, pick this, select that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to select those, reason, because you need to... Allocate them to add the tattoos. They don't need to stay allocated. Oh. So when I put the uh, unnatural uh, instinct in here, it will pick up on all three of these Chaos Res ones. In the meantime... I guess I shall grab. I guess I'll go towards the new jewel socket that I need for the uh, to move over my intuitive leap. Okay, four blueprints down. Four more to go.
actually, since I'm halfway through, we're going to take a five minute intermission. And uh, it'll be a good chance. Stretch, get water, use the washroom. You know the deal, the drill. Set up. Back in five. And I'm back. I don't know if that was five minutes, actually, but... Eh. My coin... I have only five or six thousand mar markers open thing. I made, like, 80,000 markers yesterday, running priceless blue... Or priceless contracts. Pretty crazy. Okay. Two. Oh, I see one div room and one. One of these days, we're going to open chest, and we're going to get, like, one of the crazy div cards. Jerry, come on. I don't know why those fake explosions happen. Or failed explosions, I don't know what you want to call them. But they just happen sometimes. I think it's because, like, we're too close to the explosion or something, I don't know. Too close. I don't know why that happens sometimes and not other times, though. Pretty short one. All this is chaos. Mind stack decks. Ooh, three diviners deliri delirium orbs. That is worth money. That is worth good money. I need to be very careful from now on. I think it's worth like 30 a piece, and I got three of them. Cat, yeah, nope. Fuck all of that. Here, I can move very fast. We just make use of that fact. Okay. Bit nervous there, but it ended up working out. Okay, and these are, yep, 30c a piece. So that's 90c right there. Well, okay, don't need any mega div cards. This is good enough on its own. <laughs> I am grateful for what I have. Oh, I completely forgot to even mention it. I uh, finally got my fourth ascendancy. I picked up uh, Avatar of Slaughter. So I have extra evasion rating, movement speed, attack speed, attack damage per frenzy charge. Which is a lot, because I have nine frenzy charges. Okay, so we have... 
Catalyst. Yeah, we have Catalyst and Div cards. I guess I'll just open both. I can open a lot of chests. Because I can do probably four right now, so it'll be all the valuable ones I can do right now, and then I'll be able to still do three more afterwards. Ooh, we doubled a Wait, did we get a double? That didn't double. That's not a double, that's just- it just dropped two. <laughs> that's weird. Okay, those are five C a piece. That's nice. Very nice. Oh, actually, since I have a chance, let's blow open this door. I'm gonna come over here and I might as well open it. I'm gonna have the extra- Ability to. Wow, this thing is tanky. Oh, crit resistant. That's why. I'm a crit character. Okay, Augs. Augs. Six. <gasps> Winged cartography scarab! I don't know how much those are. Probably like 60c as well. Those are really valuable. Okay, not. I'm not even. I'm not going to go back for the other chest. Nope. I don't care. I just want to get through. Get just get the winged scarab out of the heist. That's my only intention right now. Yep, 60C. Wow. Okay, so maybe these these trinket ones are actually worth doing sometimes. You seem to get an average of about 5C worth of stuff out of them. Well, I've noticed. Which really isn't enough to suggest to make you open, make you reveal more wings because the wings at the discount with uh, Gianna, it's still like twenty two hundred per wing. So not, I don't know. It feels like kind of a gamble to op to open too many wings here. So, I'm gonna... I'm probably not gonna open too many. It's this type of uh, blueprint still. I'm, why am I opening the doors for these? Dibs. 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 Thank you. Oh, two of the void. That's really good. I was having a conversation the other day about how Heist is kind of like an escort mission, because you're escorting the NPCs. But what I realized, like, the thing that makes it not ass, like, ex like escort missions usually are, is that the, the things I'm escorting, they're all invulnerable. 
if the hot if the like rose could die and that could affect my ability to this all suck if the rogues could die and that would like end the heist that would be awful n percent n percent really the I'm going to say that this one's valuable. Maybe. Yeah, this that's why this is a fun escort quest. Because you don't have to worry about the escort person dying. Even though you are technically their bodyguard. Uh, like, canonically. Yeah, I didn't pick up very much. Go straight into the next wing. Okay, so... There's two div rooms and the catalyst room. Here. Oh, I can easily open them all. Fun fact, you can queue... Ooh, fer oh, fertiles. Those are 10 C apiece. The fun fact, you can queue up explosions in Heist. Try to show it off in a second. I don't like that coming after me. See if I can find a room that has explosives from queue up. That might not happen. Uh, basically, the way that it works is uh, you activate the chest, or like activate their process on the chest. There's a bar, and then they walk away to, to blow it up. As soon as the bar goes away, you can hit again on the next chest, and it will queue that chest up so that after it explodes the first one, it will immediately go over to the other chest and start working on that. It doesn't really save a huge amount of time. Like, it's very, very small amount, but I like doing it. I think it does actually save time, though. So there is one question I've always had. Is whether... The uh, ability to duplicate div divination cards counts towards the ability to duplicate stack decks, because they're not divination cards, they're technically a currency item. Okay, 2% to duplicate basic currency. Blues is fusing. Regrets as annulments. That actually I think is valuable. Altus Chaos. Okay. I think the regret says Orbs of Annulment actually is going to be worth it. So I'm going to pick that up. I don't know if it's good enough for me to run it, but I think it's good. I'll see in a moment. Oh, give me Consecrated Ground. That'd be nice. Rustic Orb on Death. I hope that's not the thing I stole, because I, I don't intend to die. Yes! Oh! Oh! I love False Might so much, it's so much fun.
Plus, it's really cool because you can leak start with it as well very easily. Like this build, you can't necessarily. This this build isn't like built for league starting, but you can start with Smite as like one of your first things if uh, you have access to Smite on your on that particular character. I don't know which ones have access to play skills, but Smite is a level one skill. You won't get the ball version obviously until you can buy it or you get lucky, but. Ah, uh, two of the void. That's gonna be fun to open at the end of the. Okay. Ten percent quant is worth fifteen-ish C. Okay. Uh, alts as alks. Ooh, that's not worth any. And honestly, that I. I would almost consider that bad. I use more alts than I use alks. Okay, well, I see. Now for the valuable one, potentially. Wait. Uh, where is it? Okay, so that's a tier 1 modifier with the 1% chance. It doesn't go higher than that. So... Okay, so there's only a few on the market that exist. There's one that was listed a month ago for 30C and it hasn't sold much. Doesn't really give me much hope. That. Well, you know what? I'll put it in the 19 tab. I'll see what happens. It's, it's a really low chance, so I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't think I would want to use it, because I already have a 4% chance to duplicate basic currency, which I think is probably... And again, that's one, I think it's one of the most powerful modifiers you can get on a trinket. And then the alt says chaos, definitely. Okay, lucky number seven. There is almost no rooms in this that are of any value. I don't know if y'all can hear the rogues talking in the background. <laughs> but they are actually like, really funny. One of the reasons why I like Heist as much as I do is it's really fun thematically and the gameplay is good. Just just it's just generally like a really fun mechanic, at least to me. Everyone has like different preferences, but I really like it. Actually, that's a really there's a really good money making tip in that. For if you want to make money in path, like like not real money, but ooh, this all got doubled. Nice, good tip for making money in path. And some of you already know this. Some of you probably don't. Uh, do something. Everyone will say like, oh, Sanctum is really good for currency. Heist is really good for currency. Delve is really good for experience. Heist is really good for experience, etc., etc. There's always going to be different things that are have like lots of different currency building methods. The most important thing that you need to know though for making currency in this game is find the content that you like. Find the content that you like, because you are not going to enjoy 
playing the same content that you don't like for a long period of time, long enough to like get used to a strategy and maintain it. It's just better to find something that you enjoy, even if it's slightly less effective than other routes. If you enjoy something, you will enjoy playing it a lot more and be a lot more effective at it. You'll be willing to like come online and like a few hours will just disappear while you're playing and you'll just suddenly made a lot of money because it's something that you actually enjoy doing. Too many people try to just do whatever like the most whatever t the technically mathematically most efficient method is and that is not the most efficient method of playing. Get our incubator. That's none of these are actually really worth much. Let's get our incubator. But yeah, you want to make money? Find a way to make money with the content that you like. Don't play content you don't like and try to make money that way. You will just hate yourself. And if any, and in the worst case scenario, you'll stop liking the game completely. Ooh, careful planning, nice. There's nothing worse than making you hate hate yourself in a game because you're just doing the same thing over and over, and you don't like that that com that uh, gameplay loop. Like, I don't know for sure if this is more efficient than mapping uh, on my other character would be, but I do know that I'm having a ton of fun, and I am still making a fair bit of money, so even if one is technically more efficient, I definitely want to play the one that's more fun for me at the moment, and then I can just swap back and forth. It's especially good to have multiple methods of uh, gaining currency, of different strategies, because then you can swap between them. If you get bored of one, you go to another. Otherwise, you're likely to burn yourself out, which is, I mean, especially important if you're a streamer, but just as a person who wants to enjoy the game, it can be really important. It's always good to have another extra, another extra careful planning, except for I already have one. Uh... There you go, I guess. Can we get to 500 stack decks? Okay. There's divination card chest over here. Okay. It was somewhere. By the way, I, I mentioned this in the last stream, but I open both chests at the same time intentionally, because uh, if you open them separately, they dispense separate guards each time, and I don't really need the XP of two sets of guards necessarily, slowly spaced out. So, I just make sure I open them both at the same time and let the uh, guards all come out at once. And what if this is valuable? Take all of it. Oh, give me the ring back. Yay! Mana drain ring! I like the big flashy effects, even if they're not all that useful to me. <laughs> Can I kill things with just the ring? Stay in the ring. It doesn't do much damage if it does damage. 
I wonder if it's refilling my mana. Like, I know it, it sucks out mana, but I don't know if it just destroys it or not. I was not paying enough attention. Not paying enough attention, and now I'm imminently going to begin lockdown, and I don't have time to look at what things are worth. Shit. Eight chaos. Chance orbs. Stack decks, okay. Chaos orbs. Ooh. I'm actually kind of thankful I didn't get the uh, chance to double open the uh, the uh, heist reward because that would have been completely wasted right there. Okay. Thank you, Niles. That's not what I meant to hit, but sure. Blowfield! Oh my gosh, give me the slow field and the ring. No. <laughs> see very many proximity shield mobs in here. Actually, I feel like I haven't seen proximity shield mobs in general for a while. Is that... Am I just not paying attention, or did something happen to them? I assume that if something happened to them, they would announce that they changed it. Okay. You are worth supposedly You are supposedly worth twenty five C's twenty seven days ago. Uh okay. I will put you in the nineteens spot and see if you sell. Oh chance to avoid elemental ailments and maximum lightning resist. Is that tier one dex? That's tier three decks. Not bad. Might have to be re-rolled, but whatever. Golden plate. Hmm. Five or six chaos is not really worth it. Here, while well, I have a chance, throw all these things into the vendor. Okay, last mission. Last Grand Heist. I don't think we've died yet. The stream. Which means I might... I might do an extra heist that I have, because I have a four-wing Unusual Gems one, and I might be... Might be ready to start risking that sort of stuff with this character. Uh oh. I think they have been either removed from the common, uncommon, rare pools, or just on super rare mobs. Oh. It's possible that they've been. that it's been removed from the pool, but it still exists in the game where those mobs in particular that have the skill use it. Like the uh, priests, or the weird, the weird architect priest thingies in the Tower of God, for example. Okay, there's a few guests I want here. I should be able to open these two and the divination card chest still. Brand damage. You know, I am perfectly fine 
if they did remove Proximity Shield as a rare modifier, because Proximity Shield has always been a really obnoxious thing. It's like one of the reasons why I wouldn't want to play a bow build a lot of the time, just because and you have to walk right up to it and shoot it point blank, which you don't really want to do on a squishy ranger character. Because by default, rangers have, I think, the lowest health of, of like, everyone. Ow. Don't step in the landmines. And then I just hit the wrong thing, and that happens. I'm not paying attention enough. No! No, I don't like this. Open the damn door. Open the damn door. Alx. Chance. Chance. Uh, uh, Gilded Fossil. <laughs> I think that might have actually been the best option anyways. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, this was the weird one. I only have Gianna and uh, Vendiri right now. I don't have a third person. I remember planning that. I don't like these unique monsters. Uh, nope. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. There's too many things happening right now. Like this. Also, I'm opening a door into a locked room. Not the door that goes ahead. Turn it. <laughs> Ah! All right, I didn't pick up any of this shit because I was running for my life. Oh, give me more flash charges. That'd be nice. Wonder if siphons, if like siphoning flash charges works on NPCs or not? Because I don't. I mean, they don't have flasks. I don't let you know if I can even get that modifier. You know what? That's just... Oh, God. That wasn't good. That could have been really dangerous. Happy it wasn't. No, what am I doing? Don't stop. Keep going. Seventy nine max life. That is a max that's a tier one max rolled life on the breach ring. It's still not gonna be valuable because it's a breach ring, but at some point I want to get uh, uh like some good breach rings for running breaches specifically. Because they can be good. They're almost never good, but their properties are doubled, so this would be a what, 100 158 plus 158 raw max life on this ring if I went to a breach with it. So good. I have four gilded fossils. Curiosity. Can I roll gilded fossils on these? I don't know if gilded can be used. I don't know if fossils can be used on these. Oh, target's not rare. Yep, gilded can be used. kit. I'm gonna run through a few gilded fossils right now, see if we get anything cool on stream. 
So gilded fossils, basically what they do is uh, you can craft it just into like a random thing. It's like using a chaos orb on the item, except for it changes the sell price of the item to something just random. And it's it will sell for just any set, uh, like a random selection of basic currency anywhere from uh, scrolls of wisdom to mirrors, basically. They're very, very random in what they actually give. Okay, so these are the four different items. And we get... Oh, Remnants of Corruption. Cool. There are three C each. Guild of Fossils aren't really worth very much because they're not... They're not a very good uh, thing to gamble with, honestly. Where's my crazy... This is it. Okay. Damage from hits always ignites. I can reduce ignite damage and reduce damage taken over time. Okay, I'll go with this. So... This is a four wing unusual gems level 83 with 10 currency rooms. It's very, very special. And this is the first time I'm doing like a crazy valuable grand heist on this character. Because she can still theoretically be one shot. By monsters, so she is a bit squishy that way. Okay, so this is the wing that only has one currency room. No! Ooh! Okay, I almost walked onto landmines. I stopped like the last second. One of the dangers of moving really fast. There's a rare mob right there. Whoa! Was that God touched? That's a lot of maps. I like maps. I'm glad that this was actually valuable. I'm just going to go around and blow up all the monsters that are here just so I can be safe. Almost blast chain. Oh. That, that rings a bell to me. That actually might be a really valuable one. Okay, anomalous first. Blast chain. Anomalous blast chain is not valuable. Anomalous spell echo. Ooh, spell echo is usually good. Spell echo is worth a div and goes up to three div. That is probably the one I'll pick. Uh, vigilance. Speak. I used to use that when I had an aura bot. Not the anomalous one, though. Okay, not worth anything. Divert frost wall. Oop. And divergent elemental. Yes. Would div up to a potential four div. Actually, that's a little bit less than a div. The anomalous spell echo is a bit more reliable for how much money it's worth. So I'm going to pick that. Oh. I was like holding my breath to see if I was going to get the uh, the second chance to go to pull from the Grand Heist. Because getting, 
getting another chance to uh, pick a gem from a grand heist is it could be worth untold amounts of money. So, I mean, in that case, it could have been an extra div if it triggered stuff. Run. Okay. How am I offhand stuff doing? Oh, the this raging spirit's almost done. Means I can probably put the bell echo into my offhand. I'll just leave that in my inventory. I successfully did wing one. I'm having a hard time getting a read on like how squishy this character is because I can be almost one shot, but that is so rare that it makes it, it it makes it hard to tell whether i can like rely reliably just stand in front of things and just take hits or if i should really just be running as fast as i can as much as i can or somewhere in between i mean i guess it is a dice roll in like heavily in my favor every time so whether i get it or not is entirely based on the dice roll cuz they only have a 5% chance of hitting me, but 5% chance, chance gets rolled 5 times out of 100, and I get hit a number of times, so really, really hard to say. Maybe I just need to watch out for spells. That might be a bigger issue. I did switch my attack block to spell block, though, so I'm... Pretty confident that will help me. Um, what happened? Oh. Oh, this wasn't a currency room. This was a talisman room. Ew, talismans. Ew. Ew. No, I don't want those. They're not that bad. I'm just, they're just like categorically worthless, which is a whole, the only the reason why I'm just kind of sad. <laughs> Almost flesh and stone. Virgin Arc Surge. Divergent Storm Rain. Uh, Anomalous Creeping Frost. Okay. Creeping Frost. Two thirds of a div up to two div. Flesh and stone. Quarter of a div up to three div. Scorching ray is not worth anything. Okay. Urgent arcane sur Half a div up to one div. And storm rain. It is not worth anything. Which one was that? Was that Anomalous Flesh and Stone that was most viable? Yes, I think so. I 
I wish I had a greater memory than I do. The Creeping Frost is a better is actually a better price, even if I fail the corruption. So I'm gonna pick that because it's a more reliable earner. I prefer reliable options. I don't like to gamble. I say, and then I like gamble on stream. Though I gamble on stream for like the show. I don't naturally gamble. As I usually say, the only type of gamble, only gambles I like are the ones I know I'll win. And usually people point out at that point that that is not a gamble at that point. But. Did the arcanes the arcane search did not level up? Fully up bracelets. No bracer. Later. Okay, next one. I'm probably going to finish the last two wings here, and then we're going to do our div cards. See if we can get anything fun. We have three voids. So I'm excited for those, because those can be absolute trash or god tier. I mean, I got a priceless... I got a priceless item from the void last time, so... Ooh, six gas orbs. I think that was conversion from the alts. Uh, no, I need to go this way. Okay. Not exactly that way, but... There we go. Okay, I have the maximum alert level reduction right now, so I should be able to do a bit more. Hopefully I can get all of the chests I need. At least all the currency chests. The currency chests are the ones I care about. Since there's no div divination chests here. Wow, there's still two more currency rooms. There's four currency rooms in this wing. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. I can't open anything after, so everything has to be opened beforehand. Oh, fuck, I got clipped. Almost Rage, Divergent Pin, Almost Storm Burst, Divergent Blast Rain, Divergent Glacial Cascade. Fuck, I don't know which one of these are viable. I'm going to pick the Anomalous Rage and Hope. I hope I didn't pass up something valuable there. Oh, and I can't get that currency room either, so. That's unfortunate. I love these big rooms, like the big square rooms here, because you can very easily just stand in the middle of them and then smite once. 
and do that. Fortunately, I am out of smites. A thaumaturgical ward, nice. Ow. Running ground. Oh, ow. Something hit me hard there. They hit me for 3,000 there. And I just... Ooh, that, that was a spell dodge that saved me from that beam. Ooh. Glad that that one didn't kill me. Almost rage. But I make a good choice. Normalist Rage is a quarter of a div normally, and it can be corrupted up to four and a half div. Okay, I made a good choice. I made enough builds now that I can kind of feel out just by looking at what the effect is, whether something is going to be the valuable alt quality or not, but... I mean, I can only do so much with just guessing. I have to craft some more of this stuff. I don't think Niles has a good ward yet. He has a disguise kit, which I don't even I don't even use him for that. To be honest thing. Oh, John's disguise kit sucks, so I need to fix that too. Yeah, I need Harst, Tibbs, and Vendiri are all pretty well set up, but the rest of them are not. Oh yeah, there's only level 10 discipline. I need to I need to get a level 15 discipline there too. Some of their gear is really really good, mainly the brooches. But that's the only part that's like really really good. Okay, currency room. Currency room. Abyss, Abyss, Essence. Okay, so there's two currency rooms. No security hasn't spotted us, we're fine. Don't worry. Ooh, two awakened seconds, nice. Always good. I almost have enough to sell a set of sextons. I don't know why, but I like selling them as sets. Let's open now. Yeah. Did I just piss? Yeah. Did I just piss up? Did I pick up an abyssal? You better yes, I did. Those on the ground. Don't need those. They can be really great on rare occasion, but generally, if you want to be have. Like something abyss that's good, you need to be doing it in maps and be getting the the six passive ones, not the four passive ones that everyone else can access. Ooh, an almost anger. That might be the most valuable one. Almost incinerate. Incinerate isn't too heavily used, I don't think. An almost arrogance. That act. Okay, that's mm. <laughs> almost ancestral call and anomalous absolute. Oh gosh. Okay, that's a lineup to say the least. 
Absolution. Not worth it. I like to do the ones I don't think are going to be valuable first. Ancestral Call, 60. Generate. Six. <laughs> okay, finally. Anger. An anger? No. Anger. Ooh, it can be corrupted up to four and a half div. Starts at 50. No, that's being price fixed. Okay, it starts about 80. What a third div. And then we have Arrogance. Oh boy! Two and a half div before corruption. And it can be corrupted up to ten div. Wow. Yeah, okay, no, that's, that's the big one. That's our ten div item! Okay, that was not the right place to go. Did you do the thing? Yes, you did. Okay. Usually try to kill some of the juicy things there are, but nope. Not with a potentially 10 div gem in my inventory. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, about two and a half div. The level twenty version. So the wow, the uh, anomalous ones, or sorry, the not the corrupted ones are still two div apparently. Yeah, it, that doesn't really change the price much as long as they stay twenty quality. If they get 23% quality, they jump up to 4 div. And if they get 20, level 21 with 20 quality, there is a single 10 div one on the market. So, that'll be worth a lot. Okay, normal dread banner. Go away now. Getting old instead. I am still leveling the anomalous dread banner, though. The one that uh, is, like, crazy valuable from the last stream. But I say though, we did pretty damn good. We didn't die at all. Oh wow, this This is why I often don't pick up Talina stuff cuz they're only worth like one or two chaos a piece worth of rogues mark. It always picks these like really, 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 really low value extra heist targets. Oh, I totally forgot. I do have something kind of special to do. Uh um Can anyone else see my minimap freaking out? Weird textures on it? <laughs> I don't know if it's showing on the video or not. Oh, that's really weird. Okay, well, I do have something uh, fun to do as well. I've been uh, building up uh, metamorph parts. So I have four metamorphs that we can do uh, before the we do our divination cards. Okay. Which one shall we pick? Those two currency. Two currency. This is currency. This is currency and catalyst. Okay. I'm going to grab these. Putting items of inventory to space these out.
Cool. So that's four metamorphs. It's laboratory. I say we're starting to get so many buttons here that we kind of need to have like a hub for this, or just put them on the other side too. And I still feel like we need a Rogue's Harbor one because having to use a token every fucking time is really annoying. Okay. Oh, I don't even know if I've shown it on stream, but I got a uh, I got a microtransaction. Oh. I also got a Divine Orb. Nice. But yeah, I got a microtransaction for this character. That's giant, like, abyssal blue skulls. I love it. It's the Stygian Firestorm. It makes me so happy. Wait, I don't know why I walked over here. But... Back as much as I can. And go. Deltadorp this time, nice. I can place 18 total, so I try to place 18 before I let it go. Might still have something done fail, so I'll pick this up. And... Pretty lucky getting a Divine Orb, though. That That makes me happy. Oh, nice. Oh, I got an unstable. That's worth 30 chaos right there. I really need to change my loot filter so those are highlighted because for some reason it just does not naturally highlight valuable catalysts. So. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Grab these two. Life. Eh. Eh. I don't think there's a single thing here that's valuable. Can I this in here? Why not? I do have a fin oh I guess I must already have one. Oh, whatever. Okay, time to do div cards now. Final to finish off the stream. Gotten some good progress this stream though. Makes me pretty happy. I mean we're up to four hundred and twenty five stack decks now, so that'll be my little nest egg for when I feel like I need something. Clear these out. Okay, div cards. Let's see, Delvitum, Dagger... Sulfite Scarab. I don't know if that can roll, like, good ones or not, but... And see, Gem... Uh, loves... Jewelry, Beyond Item, six Link Body... Of course, getting a Maps... 
Adventures Gamble, Staff, Map, Vault, Belt, Essences, and finally three Void. Actually, I should pick those and put them. Okay, let's turn all these in now. Most of this we got today. <laughs> Oh, so it just gives you a rusted one, I think. Okay. I don't know if that, that div card set can give you di a different quality Sulfite Scarab, or if it's always rusted, but... Yeah. Dagger! Mark of the Doubting Knight! Not valuable. Delve item! Grace Spire. That, don't think that's valuable either. Not with only 2% all max res. No, it's not. Soul Thirst. Is that valuable? Not on its own. It does have perfect mana recover mana flask recovery, but I don't know if that matters. <laughs> don't think it matters. Ridgewald item. Ridgewald's command. This is worth nothing. Map. Yay. Staff. Rest, okay. And just gamble. Oh, so we got three positive, uh, three positive, uh, uh, oh my god. Rings. Rings? Dear god, no. Resistances! Yes, that. We got three positive resistances, but we got 39% reduced rarity and 1% reduced quantity. That's sad. Shield. Deep ones hide. Oop. Map. Death and taxes. Eh. Force getting elixir. Okay. Well, this is. Hmm. Is course getting elixir always this one particular flask? If that's the case, then that's not going to be. Basic things like things links. Six link body armor. Beyond item, edge of madness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep that. Sell off that crap for a second and see if we can do. Meaning space. Jewelry! Oh, warp timepiece. Gloves! Great old one's tentacles. Those ones reflect in pales to things around you. Cool. Ring! Romero's Banquet. Gem! Flamethrower Trap. Not valuable. Okay, now we're going to get into the ones that could be super valuable or super not valuable. So we have two Emperor's Lux and we have three Voids. Emperor's Luck 1. Five Alts. Emperor's Luck 2. Five Glass Blowers. Okay, on to the Voids. Void 1. Mortal Grief. Oh, that's worth 10 Chaos. That's pretty nice. Void 2. Oh, it's the one with the shitty blue sword. Oh. And last void! 20 fusings. Okay. Not bad. That's a pretty good haul, honestly, as far as uh, basic equipment goes. Oh, this is a max rolled one. That's 25, uh, 25 ma attack speed. I don't need that. It's still not very valuable, though. I already have one of those. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, nothing crazy, but, I mean, not everything is going to be crazy, unfortunately. All we can do is just keep trying. 
Oh, we also got a Forbidden Tome at some point, and I think those were worth 10 Chaos. Yeah, they were 10 Chaos. Cool. Oh man, we did 9 Grand Heists today. <laughs> I don't even know how many wings that was. I think it was close to at least 20 wings. I mean, the last one on its own was four wings, so... Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. For everyone who's here and has been here, thank you for coming. It makes it so much more enjoyable for me to be able to play with other people. Or play with other people when they're watching and stuff. It makes the highs higher and the lows lower. It's great. Actually, the lows aren't even that bad. Oh, you're welcome, Pyro. You're always so sweet. Have a great day, everyone. I just had... Uh, which video came out today? Uh, one of the Forgotten Reliquary videos came out today. If you wouldn't mind... Uh, where is it? Oh, has it not come out yet? No, it just hasn't updated. Okay. Cool. Forgotten Real Query videos come out today. I think I did a pretty good job editing it. So if you want to spend the minute and 15 seconds to look at that, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you like the stream, remember to follow. And if you want to support me financially, we do have Patreon as an option where you can get exclusive content and see all the videos as soon as they're made. Thank you all for coming so much, and I will see you same time, same place, next Tuesday. Bye!